Today we're going to cover uh, the kinds of frames that we can get. So we want to cover what the difference is between this kind of frame and this kind of frame. So this one is a static frame. So what that means is the tension of the mesh that's stretched across the frame is static. It doesn't change. Well, that's a bit of a lie. It does change slightly. It relaxes. So over the course of the actual life of the screen, <laughs> over the course of the life of the screen, we lose a little bit of tension. The mesh relaxes. So we will tend to aim to stretch these frames at around about 27 to maybe 30 if we're lucky Newtons. But what happens is when this frame goes through its life cycle, or at least one heat cycle, what's a heat cycle? The heat cycle is when the frame is first delivered. The first thing we do is wash it and degrease it so we get it wet. And then we apply heat to dry it. We then apply emulsion, we image it, we get it wet again, we apply heat to dry it, and it comes on to press and it gets squashed with a piece of rubber 3,000 times a day, if we're lucky. So what happens there is the mesh actually relaxes. And when this mesh relaxes, we lose about 10% of that tension that was initially put in when we stretch the glue across the metal frame, applied the glue and let the glue set. So we're now at around about 22 to 23 Newtons. And this is perfectly acceptable and good to use for a, the standard um, printing that we use. And we would like more. The problem is we're at the limit of the strength of the glue and the strength of the frame. So the solution to this problem is the adjustable frame, the, the roller frame. So this frame, instead of being made from a, a welded tube, a welded box section, we've got tubes. These tubes have a point here that is adjustable. So what we can do is we can stretch the mesh across these tubes, it's trapped in here with these plastic inserts, and then we can adjust the tension because we're not using glue. So we can wind these nuts open them up, lock them back down again, and this will allow us to retension the frame. The, the strength of this mesh is so high that we can get up to 40 Newtons without worrying about it splitting from the glue, pulling from the glue, or bending the box section. So it allows us to get an initial high 40 Newtons. But then when this same screen goes through its heat cycle, we again lose about 10%, maybe 20. So we're now down at maybe 30, 32 Newtons. So what we can do is once the image has been removed, we can retension, tighten up this tube, spin this tube and spin this tube here so that we get a high tension back to 40 again. And once the mesh is relaxed, chances are it won't relax again. So it only relaxes once. So this allows us to keep a good tension throughout the life of the screen. Now, why isn't everybody using these? In the UK, there's probably about three shops use these. Over here in the US, they are much more popular, um, but they are high maintenance. What does that mean? It means that we really should, to do it properly and correctly, we have to devote lots of time to maintaining the tension and the squareness, because if we can move this here, then there's chances are I can twist it. So we have a special table where we sit the, the frame on the table, we apply the tension, we check the tension constantly with a tension meter, then we lock the frame down, and then we can go through the process of, again, applying the emulsion, applying the image, developing, putting it into the press. This is quite labor intensive, and this is one of the reasons that I personally don't like these, although they give a better print. And I will never argue that they don't. They do give a better print because high attention, better prints every time. So the reason I don't like them is the high maintenance cost. I can get good prints and good results if I monitor my static frames and keep them above, let's say, 18 to 20. Anything above 18, I'll keep. Anything below 18, I'll get rid of. 
So if I can maintain good tension at those levels, I don't really need to go to the next level with this. That's me personally. Lots of printers, especially here in the US, love the fact that they can get really high tension. This allows a good shear, a good, uh, a good passing of ink through the holes. The, the ink is released from the mesh much easier. We need less tension, we need less pressure, we need a lot less slow speed. So we need a faster speed. So therefore, technically, this is probably the best solution to get a good print. But practically, this is practically the easiest solution, especially if you don't have lots and lots of labor at hand. So with these, they either are up to tension or they're not. They're static. Static means that they are not retentionable. There's tension in here is static. On the MHM, both of these screens fit in without any adjustment. We can simply apply the static with the female cups onto the male positioning. And that's it. No change required whatsoever to the system. If we go to a Newman or a roller frame, again we now have the male adapter which fits into the female location on the press. We just snap straight in, no adjustment at all, nice and simple. We don't need to make any adjustments on press, everything is set. So the MHM press will take both types of frame really easy. Um, the advantages are the roller will give you cleaner, crisper, softer prints. The disadvantage is the maintenance of the tension of the frame in between cycles. 